Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you the secret of how I buy my running shoes. My previous shoe has done 1,500 kilometers and it's gotten holes at the side. So I figured now is the perfect time to show you guys how I actually buy my running shoes. So, so let's go to my favorite website, 123movies, I mean carousel.com. Uh, then I just type Saucony. Okay, let's see what is there. Freedom ISO, I already have that shoe. $260, a bit too expensive. What? What is this? Kinvara? Oh, Kinvara for 135 is too expensive. Okay, nope. Kid shoe. Uh, not running shoe. Oh, what's this? This is so cheap. Boy Boy 15. There's no other picture, so... Anyway, it looks... It looks pretty good. Yeah. So if you're a size US 10, you might want to pick up this shoe. So cheap. Oh man, unfortunately it's not my size. If you need to know how to check your size, you just push your feet towards the front of the shoe and make sure you have just one finger spacing at your heel there. Yeah, you just use the finger method. One one finger is enough, not two. If you can insert two fingers, that means you need to buy a smaller shoe. Saucony and Dolphin, one of the more recent shoes, that's why it's still over $200. By the way, I'm looking for a shoe between $50 to $80. Both that is too expensive. So, Kimbara 12, 179, too expensive. This is not bad. Right ISO 2, but it's a heavier shoe. But I'm looking for a lighter shoe. Saucony Kimbara 10. US 8 is my size and mileage less than 10 km. So, it's not used at all. And it's when is it posted? And it was posted 23 hours ago. That means not many people have seen it. Anyway, you see the picture. The, sh the sole is still so white. And look at the upper, there's like no dirt on it as well. I think I'll buy this shoe. So cheap, so cheap. And because this is a good deal, I need to grab it fast. So I'll go contact the guy and buy this shoe later. So that's how to find good quality, cheap secondhand uh, running shoes. Make sure the mileage is not too high. Make sure it's your size and make sure the sole and the upper of the shoe looks okay. I think a good price would be around 40 to $80. And above 100 definitely is way too expensive. Unless you're buying a Nike carbon plated shoe. Alright, just bought the shoes. Actually, this colour is the runner's favourite colour. Luminous yellow, but personally, it stands out a bit too much for me. Prefer like neutral colours like black or white. Just take a look at this. He says he didn't do more than 10k. Uh, a couple of runs only. But you can see the upper is like super new. No dirt at all. So cool. And guess what? I negotiated $10 less. So from $50, I ended up paying $40 only for an almost new pair of Canvara 10s. Alright, when it came out, the original price would have been $179. But since this is the 10, now it's the 12. So this model is 2 years ago. It has dropped $130. So that means I... The 4, 4, 8, 12. So actually for the price of uh, one brand new Canvara, I could have bought 4 of these. Um, Second-hand Kimbara 10s. Yep, so that's the secret of how to buy a good quality pair of used running shoes. And thank you guys for watching. Remember to smack the subscribe button and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Time to go home. Bye-bye.